MRN Crew Call is brought to you by Hercules Tires. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of MRN Crew Call, the program that takes you behind the scenes in the world of NASCAR. This weekend, we're getting ready for some doubleheader action at Pocono Raceway. Now, you might think, uh, so what? A lot of tracks are doing that these days. Well, this was scheduled before all the postponements began to happen. We'll talk with the track president, Ben May, about what the schedule looks like this weekend and a whole lot more. When we come back on the other side of the break, though, Ryan Priest will give us a little preview of the racing at the Tricky Triangle. Sir, are you aware you were going 40 miles an hour? This is a residential area. Sure, but I'm on my lawnmower. Wait, am I getting a ticket? No, I've just never seen anyone top nine miles an hour on one of those bad boys. And mow their entire lawn in 30 seconds? What got into you? Well, it did fuel up at Sunoco this morning. At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. We've been doing it for American Racing for over 50 years. Fuel your best. The doubleheaders are going to be awesome. I think it's uh, it's it's going to be the new way of, of the future for sure. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, plenty of action, more opportunity to get your car better for the next day. And, uh, you know, I've, I'm – I'm from Connecticut, so not too far. I think I'm only about three hours from Pocono, so it's uh, it's kind of like home. Ryan Priest talking about running the doubleheader at Pocono Raceway this coming weekend, the Tricky Triangle hosting two. Ben May, the president of the track, joins us now to talk about it. And Ben, uh, everybody has been anticipating this event even before all the coronavirus stuff started happening. Last year, folks are going, man, I wonder how that's going to work. But you're still doing five races in three days. Are you going to have time to sleep and eat? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. You know, we we're, we're, we continue to be excited about the concept. And, uh, you know, it proven to resonate with the fans. Our ticket sales were amazing. Our camping was about 80% sold out when uh, when March 16th happened. So, you know, while we're excited that we're able to put on the show for the industry, we're disappointed for the fans. We're disappointed for our partners and our sponsors. Um, but, you know, understanding the health of the sport, we're, uh, we're gung-ho and uh, ready to see some race cars. That's a big disappointment for everyone I know. Uh, and every state has different rules and regulations in terms of what they need to do and how they have to get the events going forward. But the important thing is we are going to be racing. So if you will, take folks through what the schedule looks like because, man, that's an ambitious schedule you have with five races in three days. It is. We're, we're kicking off Friday, uh, Friday evening with Arkham Menard Series, the general tire Anywhere it's possible, 200. Uh, so excited to see that group back on the track. And then um, that's the, really the one event that's changed. That was originally scheduled for Thursday. It'll now be on Friday. Uh, and then the Saturday-Sunday calendar remains the same. Uh, just one, one minor change of us uh, originally planned to be on NBC. But we'll be on Fox and FS1 uh, here for the 27th and 28th. So kicking off the uh, Pocono Organics 150 Gander Truck event on Saturday at noon, followed by uh, race number one of the doubleheader, our Pocono Organics 350. Uh, that one will be on Big Fox at 3.30. And uh, Sunday, we're uh, firing up the Xfinity Series, excited for our friends at Comcast, uh, you know, not too far from their backyard in Philadelphia. And uh, that'll be our Pocono Green 225 followed by cup race number two. So the Pocono 350. So it's, uh, it's, it's an exciting prospect. I mean, it's, you know, all this is different for us, right? It's yeah. the double header is different. The race links are different. We've got our cup races going from 400 to three and a quarter and 350 and Xfinity going from 250 to 225. So the strategies, the strategies are going to be exciting. It's uh, folks tuned in on TV are going to see, they're going to see a different Pocono, you know, across a multiple series. The strategery is going to be fun to watch, no doubt. And all those races, by the way, will be on the Motor Racing Network for fans who are traveling around or who just want to catch that as they go about their day. But I, I think it was a, a big deal uh, a, a while back when Pocono went from 500 to 400. A lot of folks said, man, that's that's an, uh, a cooler event. It's a, a little more uh, enjoyable when the guys don't feel like they're just clicking off some laps. But now you're going to condense it even more with – you know, the two races back-to-back, -back, just just the energy around the place, I think, is just going to be electric. 
Yeah, it, it'll be pretty neat. And I think we've these these shorter races are interesting, right? We've had a little bit of we got a little taste of it here earlier um, the past month with some of the midweeks and the things we've seen out there. So so you're right. It's you know it's going to feel different. It's going to be called different. It's uh you know we went uh, we went through the race team shops earlier in the year and we were trying to get a little strategy out of the teams and the crew chiefs. Now, how are you going to treat it? Is there you know are we still going to do the invert? Is this going to happen? What you know what's it going to look like? So we didn't get much as you'd expect, but uh, they wanted was, information from you. They don't like to give up information, right? <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's fair. That's right. It doesn't hurt to ask. Though, that <laughs> that's right. So, so, I mean, I think it's new. I mean, I, I've I've worked here for. 19 years 18 years now and right i've seen the 500 i've seen the 400s and this 325 and 350 it's just, just going to be different i uh it's exciting now you, you mentioned that there won't be fans in attendance but of course all the competitors and officials there are some logistical things that you guys have to do that all the tracks have been doing in order to to get these events going safely and to make sure that everyone is uh, maintaining their social distancing what's it going to look like for you is it going to be your your standard crew or do you not have to have so many people since you're not having all the fans in the stands what's it going to look like from your end well I, I keep joking with the team here that uh, i never realized how relevant i was until you told me there weren't going to be fans and partners and uh, guests in attendance so um we're you know we're a, we're a family business a small little one and, and we're an all hands on deck crew so you know we could have uh, some of our full-time ticketing staff you know handling some of the gate responsibilities or roster checks or anything of like that so we're we're going to do whatever it takes we had a we had a small group out yesterday you know practicing our social distancing painting uh painting sponsor logos on the track so you know at the end of the day we're still that we're still that little mom and top and pop racetrack and we do what we got to do to get it done. So it'll be a, it'll be most certainly a different animal. I mean, you know, we, we have, we have a staff of around 30 full time that balloons to 2000 um, when we have our races packed in with fans and, you know, and, you know, obviously we're not going to have to, to manage the parking, the ushers, the gate guards and, and things of that nature. So it is a little different and it's uh I think we just look at each other and we feel like we're missing something and we don't know what it is or if we are, but this it's is the all fans. New. That's what's it's missing. It's the people. <laughs> it's all new to everybody. And, yeah. You know, we, we always just go back to the fact that, you know, we had a, we've got a special facility and we have a, we have a special program on board and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do this in 21 and, and really have folks here to enjoy it. But as far as putting on the show, we're, you know, I think what I've always, what I've noticed and what I've felt over the past month is that when the cars hit the track, it didn't, doesn't feel different to me, right? I'm, yeah. You know, what I've watched on TV and what I've listened to on your broadcast is, is it feels the same, right? It still has that general air of excitement. I, I think it'll feel a, a little bit different in person. Kevin Harvick mentioned it that first time when he got out of the car at Darlington and just said, it's quiet, right? It's so that, I think that'll be one of the things that'll be That'll be interesting to watch, but the feel of the race and, and the way these guys are driving and having no practice, no qualifying, just just flipping that switch and flooring it has been cool. So I'm excited to see. I mean, I'm, look, I'm not I'm not bold enough to show up a year later and just you know jam the gas into turn one at 180 miles an hour. But God bless <laughs> these guys for doing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we mentioned that every state seems to have uh, their own differences in terms of how they're managing things. I imagine that you've been working closely with state and local officials to make sure you do everything right and mind your P's and Q's. Is there anything that's significantly different from what we've seen so far in terms of screening and that type of stuff? No, it's all pretty. It's all pretty in line with what what we've seen with the NASCAR protocols. Uh, Governor Wolf and his administration and the Department of Health they, they've been incredible to us. Um, we've got a, you know, this is a large state with some big cities in it, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and, um, you know, there's only a couple other states that carry the, the degree of professional sports we do, right? We have two NFL teams, NBA team, two NHL teams, a major league soccer team, uh, two baseball, two MLB teams. So there's a lot of pro sports and, you know, we're going to be the first one on deck here in the state of Pennsylvania. So we, we feel a good bit of pressure to make sure that it's a safe environment and uh, and it's a, you know, we want it to be fun, but we need it to be safe. We need to be safe for the competitors. We need to be safe for our, you know, our security personnel that are going to be here and our staff. Uh, you know, we, we're in our offices, um, got in here this week and a little bit last week and, you know, we're practicing our social distancing. Everybody has their masks on. It's uh, you know, now tell the truth. There's a cot it. back over there in the corner, isn't there? That's exactly right. <laughs> but the Northeast, I mean, the Northeast had a rough, uh, and, you know, it still does have a rough time. Uh, luckily, Pennsylvania, you know, government made some hard decisions. We, uh, you know, 
the and the you know the, the population here really really respected that and and I think uh it's shown we uh, our cases are down low dramatically decreased over time and That's um, so we think it's safe and we're we're you know we're happy with where we are today but uh this is serious business and we'll take it as such yeah, definitely. We have to. We all have to chip in and do that right now to make sure that this thing goes off safely as we move forward. You know, you mentioned uh, earlier shortening the races, and we've also seen, you know, some some different times and schedules and things like that, midweek races. And uh, we don't know yet exactly what the 2021 schedule is going to look like. But just from a, a personal standpoint, as a fan, put your fan hat on. Would you like to see some more of the stuff that we're kind of experimenting with out of necessity this year continue? I did. I liked the midweek. Um, I, I thought it was cool. I, I, I really did. It was, uh, you know, I enjoyed the length of the races. It's, um, you know, it almost fits into me of that model of, of an NBA game. You go to work, you can, uh, you can, you can, you know, you can go home, watch the game. You can go to the stadium, watch the game, you know, two, three hours and uh, grab, grab a meal, hang out with some friends and then and back home. So I did like it. And I, and I think it, I think it's, you know, it works in certain places, right? It works where there's a population density. So, well, I, I always see a concept and I say, okay, look, how does that compare to Pocono? I say, okay, well, we don't have a population density. So one, we don't have lights to, two, you know, midweek, an hour and a half from Philadelphia, an hour and a half from New York, an hour from Allentown probably doesn't fit for what we do, but I can see where it fits and I can see where it makes a ton of sense. And, uh, it's, but it's got to make sense for everybody. It has to make sense for, for the partners, the teams, you know, are there, is there going to be hospitality at track? Is there, is the viewership going to be there on TV? But, uh, from a pure fan standpoint, which was your question, yeah. I, lo- I I enjoyed doing that on my Wednesday night. I thought it was all right. <laughs> yeah, there's no baseball to get in the way or any of that other stuff. And, no, and even if- yeah, you're right, though. I think I think it's something that, you know, at least now there are more choices than we thought we had going into next year, if nothing else. For sure. And I think that makes it a lot more fun as we, as we move down the road. Listen, uh, Ben, how can folks – find out more about what's going on at Pocono and keep up with you guys because you don't know yet about 2021 for sure, but when that stuff does start coming out, how can they keep up with what you guys have going on? Because there's more than just a, a big race weekend every year. You guys are busy all the time. Yeah, we are. We, uh, we're luckily going to have our car clubs and our racing schools back on track uh, in July, thanks to some of the restrictions lifted from the governor's administration. So we're excited about that. We have that schedule on our on our website, a lot of those are closed events, but they're fun, you know, whether it be drifters or Porsche clubs, car clubs, things like that. Um, but as soon as we get, uh, as soon as we get some dates for 2021, they'll be right on PokemonRaceway.com. We'll be prepared to get our renewals out, our camping renewals, our grandstand renewals, and, uh, you know, get back to having folks here uh, in the grandstands and on property and enjoy enjoying the Pocono Mountains in the summer. <laughs> Can't wait. It's going to be a refreshing uh, change of pace from what we've seen in some of the bigger cities so far, for sure, to see the, the mountains of Pennsylvania there as we get set to come back. But, uh, but Ben, we appreciate your time, and good luck with the events. I know you guys are going to have your tongues hanging out at the end of it, but, man, it'll all be worth it in the end. Yeah, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. There you go. That's Ben May, the president of Pocono Raceway. We'll take one more time out, come back and wrap it up with a way you can get involved with our NASCAR tailgate program. Stay with us. Citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTire.com. There, you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTire.com. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Well, that's about all the time we've got on this edition of MRN Crew Call. I hope you enjoy the racing at Pocono Raceway this coming weekend. And don't forget, show us what you're doing while you're listening to or watching the races using the hashtag NASCAR Tailgate. Hit us up on Twitter at MRN Radio, and maybe your man cave or your cookout will be featured in a future program. And you might just be invited to one of our Zoom meetings before one of our races to show us what you're doing and talk to some of our personalities behind the scenes. Make sure you're there for us uh, every week. I'm Woody Kane. We'll see you once again next time on MRN Crew Call. MRN Crew Call was brought to you by Hercules Tires.